Today we're going to make an easy marshmallow fluff frosting. Um, it only has three ingredients and it comes together in a flash and then you're ready to frost any cupcakes or cakes or s'more situations that you have. This is your frosting. Now marshmallow frosting is actually super easy. Um, it's really just three ingredients. In the bowl for a stand mixer, you're going to want to add your sugar and your egg whites. They don't have to be any sort of temperature or anything, like all that's nonsense, you could just ignore that. We're basically just making a Swiss meringue, so we're going to heat our egg whites and sugar that I've just combined um, over bain marie until they reach 130 degrees on a thermometer, and then we're going to beat them until they reach stiff peaks. Super easy. And I'm just going to whisk these together. I like to kind of whisk in the sugar to the egg whites before I put it on the hot water because otherwise um, the egg whites will start to cook and you don't want that. So I've got my mixture here and I'm going to put that on top of my, my water. You don't want your water to touch your um, the bottom of your bowl. Add um, just a pinch of salt. And that will stabilize, but also um, it does add a little flavor as well. And then we are going to whisk this constantly. Yeah. Arm workout. It gets easier if it starts to heat up because it kind of loosens up. Um, but the beginning part is definitely the toughest. I don't want to miss when it hits um, 130. I usually take it off around 125 because it will keep continue cooking. So you can see it's starting to get a little bit more fluffy. Um, it's getting a little lighter. So it's around 94 degrees. Um, and so I'm just going to keep going. So the way you check this without a thermometer is you're going to kind of touch it and make sure that there's no granules and that it is hot. It feels hot to the touch. This is definitely done. You can see that it's nice and light and fluffy um, and that there are no, there's no visible sugar. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and pop it in our mixer, kind of start it on medium, and then crank it up to high. Every now and again, you're going to you want to check it. You don't want to over beat it. You can. You can definitely over whisk it. Um, so just go in there with your, your whisk and kind of pull it out and see if it holds a stiff peak. And it's just, that is not a stiff peak. Check it again. Looks great. So it's going to look smooth and shiny and glossy um, and, oh yes, ta-da! That my friends is, well it's like four stiff peaks for reviewing pleasure. So we are going to add our vanilla. You can add a different extract if you'd like, you can flavor with coffee or a lemon or really anything you'd like um, that would complement the flavors of whatever you're going to frost. But I'm going to do vanilla. Just going to whip that in. You can fold it in by hand, but honestly, it just takes longer. And that's it. Now you've made marshmallow fluff or marshmallow frosting. Um, it's basically just a Swiss meringue. Um, and this is ready for whatever application you want. So you can put it into a piping bag and pipe it onto cupcakes or you can just uh, frost the outside of a cake with it and then give it a nice little torch um, to toast it. Or you can top like your s'mores if you want to be fancy and you don't feel like making your own marshmallows. Just saying. Um, it's really, I mean, it's pretty fabulous.